So for this problem, it's talking about a particular production um, reaction that involves the chemical equation 2C3H6 plus 2NH3 plus 3H2O yields 2C3H3N plus 6H2O. Um, and we're trying to figure out what mass of acryl, acryl nitrile can be produced from a mixture that has a volume of 150 liters and the three gases have a partial pressure of um, 0.5 um, megapascals, 0.8 megapascals, and 1.5 megapascals at a temperature of 25 degrees Celsius. So first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to convert our temperature into um, Kelvin. So we have 25 plus 273, which gives us a temperature of 298 Kelvin. Um, we're also told that 1 megapascal is equal to times 10 to the 6th pascals. Okay. So we're, you can now, using our balanced equation from up here, we can now figure out which one of these three is going to be our limiting factor, which is going to help us determine how much we can um, produce. So using our equation, uh, using our balanced equation, so we can do look at each one of them. So if we have 0 0.500 megapascals of C3H6, and we're going to multiply that by the molar ratio of C3H6 to our C3H3N. And looking at the balanced equation, we can see that it's 2 to 2, or we could also say that's 1 to 1, but we'll put 2 to 2 there, which means that for this pressure of um, the C3H6 will also be the same for our, we'll have 0 0.5 megapascals for our pressure for our C3H3N. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing with our other two. We have 0 0.800 megapascals of NH3. We're going to multiply that by our molar ratio of NH3 to c 3 h 3 and and looking up here we see that it is also 2 to 2 so 2 to 2 which means we're going to again have 0 0.8 megapascals for C3H3N and then finally our last one is going to be the oxygen so we have 1.50 megapascals of O2, then I'm going to do the molar ratio for that. And looking up here, we see that it's actually 3 to 2. So I'm going to put 3 here, 2 here. So it gives us 1.0 megapascals of C3H3N. So out of these three, this here is going to be the limiting factor. Our C3H6 is going to be our limiting factor. So now we can take that value. Now that we know that that's the one that's going to be determining our um, be determining the how much we can produce, we can go ahead and change our megapascals into ATM. So if we have zero point five zero zero megapascals would multiply that by one ATM is 0 
megapascals, and we'll get that it's 4.936 atm. And now we can put that into our PV equals nRT. So we know that our pressure is 4.936. Our volume is 150 liters. We're trying to figure out how much we can produce. So we're going to find our moles. We have our gas constant 0.08206. And we have our temperature of 290 Kelvin. So that means we have 30.27 mole. We will be able to produce 30.27 moles of C3H3N. And if we find our molar mass of C3H3N, it's going to be... 3 times 12.01 plus 3 times 1.008 plus 14.01. So that gives us a total molar mass of 53.06. And again, we get that from our periodic table. So if we have 30.27 moles... And we multiply that by one mole is going to be equal to 53.06 grams. Then we will be able to produce 1,604.53 grams of C3H3N.